What's up, everybody? In this video, I want to be talking about one of the best players that went undrafted in this year's NFL draft. And the player I'm talking about is West Kentucky quarterback Austin Reed. Austin Reed signed as an undrafted free agent to go play for the Chicago Bears. And I think the Bears are getting a great quarterback in Reed. Before Austin Reed blew the college football world by storm during the 2022 season, before he was with the Hilltoppers, he was with West Florida. And during 2019, he threw a 40 touchdowns and helped West Florida win the Division II National Championship. Reed's first year with the Hilltoppers in 2022, he was amazing for West Kentucky. He threw for 4,746 passing yards. That was first in college football. He also threw for 40 touchdowns as well. That was third in the country. He threw 11 interceptions and had eight rushing touchdowns as well. Reed was responsible for 49 touchdowns. That was second most in the country that season. With Reed having such monster numbers in a 2022 campaign, it would have been very hard for him to replicate those numbers the following year, and he was unable to do so this past season for West Kentucky. He threw for 3,340 passing yards. He threw for 31 touchdowns, which was eighth most in the country this past season. He had 11 interceptions to go along with four rushing touchdowns. Austin Reed had big shoes to fill when he came to West Kentucky in 2022 because the quarterback before him was Bailey Zappi, the former draft pick by the New England Patriots but he played very, very good for West Kentucky. In just the two seasons he was with the Hilltoppers, he is already second most in school history in passing touchdowns. In the two years that Austin Reed was with West Kentucky, he was responsible for 83 touchdowns and threw for over 8,000 passing yards. I really think Austin Reed has been one of the most underrated quarterbacks in college football these last two seasons. When you look at Austin Reed and you watch his games, I think he's very good. And, you know, he does nothing great, but he does everything very well. The one kind of knock on Reed I kind of feel like is that sometimes he kind of forces the ball to his wide receivers. It's a good thing when your quarterback has trust in your wide receivers to throw to him so the wide receivers can try to make a play. But also it can be a negative because sometimes you maybe necessarily shouldn't throw to a receiver and it could maybe result in a turnover. When you watch Reed, his deep ball is good but not great. His short game is good, not great. Reed is not the most mobile guy, but he can run if he has to, maybe a four or five yard scramble here and there. But honestly, when I'm looking at comparing quarterbacks and different quarterbacks at the NFL, I'm not just saying this because this quarterback was a late round pick. I honestly think when you watch Austin Reed and watch Brock Purdy, they are very, very comparable to one another because they are very smart. They do everything good, but nothing really wows you on film with, you know, these two quarterbacks. They do everything good, but nothing great. You know, they don't have an amazing arm strength. They don't really have great, great accuracy, but they just do everything very, very well. And I really think Austin Reed could be a good backup, maybe even a decent starter in the NFL. And um, when you're looking at Austin Reed, you know, with him starting with the Chicago Bears, if Caleb Williams were to get hurt and if Austin Reed would have to step in for the Chicago Bears team, I definitely think he's capable of maybe winning a few games for the Bears. Austin Reed was one of the most underrated quarterbacks in this year's draft class, and he was one of the best players that went undrafted in this year's NFL draft. Comment your thoughts on Austin Reed, and comment your thoughts on the Chicago Bears uh, signing Reed. That about does it for this video. If you're new to my channel or if you've seen my videos before, make sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button. I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time on the Sports Suit Hind Show.